Okay, we're gonna have some fun with a Lego maze kit. And here's a picture of the kit. Um, I got this at our local Lego store. I'm pretty sure you can buy these online too. It has 769 pieces, so it, it takes quite a while to put together. But when you do put it together, it's pretty cool. It looks like this. And it has gears, so you can actually move and tilt the uh, tilt these platens. They're like stages here. And the objective of the game is like this. You put a little ball here, and you have to navigate it through the maze by tilting. So it's pretty cool. It's like a really fun game. And um, Anyway, so we're going to have some fun with this with Scratch. So how are we going to do that? How could we possibly make this more cool? First of all, let me show you how this thing works. It's pretty involved underneath here. This... This top piece comes off here and comes out. You have to be really careful taking it out. Okay, so there, I could take the little landscape out. And inside, you'll see that there are all kinds of gears. I'm gonna zoom in here. Here's one set of gears. Um, um, moving this handle out here, and that moves one set of gears. Here's the other set of gears that moves this handle. And if I zoom in, you can kind of see, see the gears here. So what I've done is there's a little bit of extra stuff that didn't come with this kit, and I bought it separately. I bought these two motors. Here's a motor, and here's a motor. And I bought a few other gears. Actually, it was from a, another not-so-expensive kit, and I can put the link for the other kit uh, down below. But I put in these little gears here as well. And what we're going to do now is hook these up. So I have uh, rubber bands, and I had to actually reduce these gears quite a bit to get them to work. You'll see in a second, uh, if I could get this on here. It's, it's really tight in here. This was not the easiest thing to put together, but it was a lot of fun here. Okay, so now these gears, I'm going to move with Scratch. And you can see they're moving already. So how is that happening? Okay. So over here, we have Scratch. And we also have a Pocket Lab. So this is Pocket Lab. It is a wireless sensor that connects with Scratch. And for those of you who play with Scratch and Lego, you know that Lego We Do kits also connect with Scratch. So here is Scratch. Let me zoom in so you can see it. Here are the Lego We Do extensions, and then here are the Pocket Lab extensions. So uh, I won't do an in-depth explanation of Pocket Lab. You can find that in other online videos, but here is Pocket Lab running. And I've selected the accelerometer. I have three axes of data. And you can see it when I move the uh, Pocket Lab, you can see the data changing. So we're using that data to actually control the Lego We Do motors. And I'll show you how that works. So here it is, here's the program. And uh, I'll put this program online too, so you could just download it. And I'll try to explain how it works. Okay, so we have Lego We Do extensions and we have Scratch extensions. The Lego We Do extensions let you control the motor. So here I have a command to turn the motor on, turn the motor off, um, and set the motor power to a certain number. Like, I think it goes one to 100, it's set 100. And then set the direction to this way or that way. And that means uh, positive counterclockwise uh, rotation or negative counterclockwise rotation. So here's the um, program right here. We're getting the acceleration values and here's the Pocket Lab extensions. You can get anything that you see on the uh, Pocket Lab screen here, you can get this streamed over to Scratch. So we're picking X and Y and Z acceleration. So the X acceleration, we're using to move motor B, and the Y acceleration, we're using to move motor A. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll explain in depth below, but the basic theory of this is the accelerometer is, is when Pocket Lab sits here. Oh, let me zoom out so you can see it. It's not in motion, 
and the x-axis is in this direction, and the y-axis is in this direction. So they should be reading zero because they're not in motion and they're orthogonal to gravity. Gravity is going through this way. So indeed, here you go, x and y is about zero. It's not exactly zero because I'm on a tilted surface there. Now it's pretty close. And then z is one, and this is acceleration in g's. And the one g is through the pocket lab. Okay. So what I've done is as you tilt this, the x and y acceleration goes between 0 and 1g. So this will be 1 because it's going all the way through. This is 0 and this is negative 1. And I'm using those to move the motors. So here's, uh, let's go back to scratch. And you can see uh, get ac acceleration x set the motor direction to uh, whether it's positive or negative and then turn the motor power on relative to the amount of acceleration between 0 and 1. And I had to play with these values here quite a bit to kind of get the right settings but as you can see it, it kind of works. Well, I guess you can't see, let me zoom out here. Here are the motors. Here's my pocket lab. There's one motor, there's the other motor. So I have X and Y control over these motors by tilting the pocket lab. So let's play with this a little bit and put the uh, top piece back on and play the little marble game. Okay, so it's, it's kind of level. And as I tilt this, I tilt the game. I guess I should go like this. There we go, so it's, it's, it matches the sensor. So I could put the marble back on here, and uh, let me see if I could get it kind of level. There we go, whoa, whoa, wait, hang on. whoa, whoa, wait, wait. It's pretty tricky, there you go. It's kind of level, now I could try to move the marble around using the uh, pocket lab sensor. Oop, I'm stuck already. Oh, uh, uh, I'm stuck. It's hard. Uh, it's actually quite a bit harder than it looks. So let's get this out. There we go. Oop. So anyway, there you go. It's kind of cool. So now you have a way to control Lego We Do motors with a pocket lab using Scratch as the central hub and the control system, and you can write all kinds of programs to control this pretty much any way you want, which is really cool. And all the instructions, the Scratch program, um, everything you would need to download and figure this out, I'll put in the notes, and um, there's other videos that help explain how to connect pocket lab and read the sensors and, and so on. Okay, have fun.